A Freedom of Information request has unmasked documents which show that the vast majority of Canadians who wrote to Prime Minister Stephen Harper in the month of December 2012 did so to complain about Canada's controversial decision to actively oppose the Palestinian statehood bid which the UN General Assembly voted in favour of in late November. A whopping 82% of correspondences to the Prime Minister of Canada in December 2012, just after Canada had voted against the Palestinian statehood bid at the UN, were letters from Canadians who were critical of the Harper government's one-sided support for Israel. And so the entire world went all on the same base saying Palestine is a state, it's an ind independent state, and Canada said no, Palestine is not an independent state, which um, made a lot of people curse us all over the internet, on television, and it, I feel like we're isolating, like our government is isolating Canada as a state in a very bad um, situation here. Critics say that Canada's government has come to embrace Western exceptionalism, something which explains the Harper government's disregard for the self-determination of both domestic indigenous populations and the indigenous people of Palestine. Palestinians and First Nations are very similar in that regard, which is, you know, you're seeing a very anti-First Nation uh, agenda going on here in Canada. Well, it's no wonder they legitimize what Israel is doing to the Palestinians because we need the, the people around the world respect the Canadian people, you know, and uh, like these people. But uh, what the government doing now, I don't think so. The people around the world, they respect us. Analysts observe that Canada's slavish support for Israel stems from the economic and political influence Israel's supporters have in Canada. They say supporters of Israel hope to use Canada as a pawn to advance Israeli interests, something which Canada's neoconservative government appears to be fine with. Joshua Blakeney, Press TV, Calgary.